Hey, I'm Ben. Those who don't know me, I'm founder and CEO of MakerPad, and with me is Ward, who works at Member Space. Do you want to just give a, an intro? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm Ward. I'm the, the co-founder and CEO over at Member Space. Um, what Member Space is, for people that don't know, it, it's a, a way to easily turn any part of your existing site into members only. So you can do that with Webflow, Wix, Squarespace, WordPress, Weebly, Duda, pretty much anything you can think of. Today, we're going to be uh, using a, a really cool tool that's come out relatively recently called Circle uh, for people who want to launch a community. I know, Ben, you uh, recently launched one for MakerPad, which looks awesome. Um, so yeah, it's a really cool tool. It allows you to have something that kind of looks like a Facebook group. So people who are maybe aren't, are maybe a little intimidated by like straight up forums, this feels a little bit more friendly and a little lighter uh, and just kind of familiar. Um, so I have like a nice kind of threaded forum, uh, visually very like minimalistic and clean looking and allow you, allow you to control the colors and things like that and, and the wording um, of your own community so you can control it, whether that's uh, on its own website or whether it's embedded on your site or whether it's a pop-up on your site. Circle gives you a lot of different cool options. And we're going to go over um, how to, how to uh, actually make it so that when you have a member space account, when, you're, when you have members only, you can make it so that when someone becomes a member, they're automatically invited uh, to be a member in your community as well. So they don't need to do a separate sign up process. It just automatically adds them. And you can actually automatically remove them as well if they were to cancel one of your membership plans. So it was like a nice little end to end thing. Awesome. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. I've just started using Circle and I put it on the, in the MakerPad site. It's not quite as slick as the member space um, connection. And we've got Sid, who is the, CEO of Circle here in uh, in the chat with us watching. So, no mistakes, Ward. He'll, uh, he'll let you know. <laughs> yeah, Sid. If I say anything um, stupid about Circle, let me know. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, I mean, I really like it. I'm looking forward to some of the new things they're bringing out as well. Um, and yeah, it's just been I've been looking for something like this for a while. Everyone sort of talks about for other forum software and everything I've seen is just like clunky or can't do anything with it. Um, I will, oh, no, this community's on progressions for me. Um, okay, awesome. So uh, yeah, I guess we can, we can get started now. I'll let you sh share your screen and I'll, I'll mute myself. Okay. Uh, what we're looking at right now is I'm logged into a Webflow account that I've created. So this example is basically, basically gonna be like four steps of how to set up a member only invite system. Um, for your circle community using member space and we're going to use Webflow as the uh, as the website editor. Um, so first thing first, we're going to create a Webflow site. So I'm not going to do this from scratch just because, you know, we don't, we don't all want to sit here for hours while I do that. So um, we're going to use a template that uh, member space has actually created that's for free for anyone that you can clone. Um, so we're going to start with that. It's like a nice, a nice way to kind of get a, a membership site components all just kind of pre-built and ready to go. And you can kind of edit it from there. So this dashboard, again, is pre-populated in the template. We even have a little pre-populated community section. Obviously, this, none of this actually works yet. This is all just a visual. Um, but once you add member space, you can make all this stuff actually work. So uh, we'll do that next is we'll actually create a member space account. But first, let me publish this. Um, so we have a live Webflow uh, subdomain to work with because we do need to have an actual site of some kind. So there we go. Okay. So here it is, right? We're on the, uh, we're on the site. So let me copy the URL and I'll go back to the home page of our demo here. Okay, so now we're uh, in the member space backend. All right, so we're just gonna quickly kind of walk through member space onboarding. So I'll enter in the, the website URL that I just copied. I'll select which platform I'm on. So in this case, Webflow, give it a name. Um, we'll call it uh, community workshop sounds good enough all right all done okay um so now we're uh, throwing here into the member space onboarding okay so right now we're in the section called member pages this is where you tell member space which pages you want to protect on your website so um if we go back to our our uh, webflow site right that dashboard page we were on, we want this to be members only, right? We don't want this just to be public so anyone can get there. This needs to be protected. So I'll copy the page URL. 
go back into member space, select member pages. All right, uh, paste in the URL I copied. Um, here is where we can uh, drip out access to the page if we wanted to do that. In this example, I'll just keep things simple. We'll just say the page will be available immediately. Okay, add now. Okay, there we go. So now this page slash dashboard member space will be protected on our website once we're done installing member space. You can add more pages. This is just one, and I'm just gonna, again, keep this simple and quick, so we'll keep moving. Um, so we'll move on to the next setup step. So now, uh, we're doing member plans. So member plans are how people get access to member pages. Pretty, uh, pretty simple. So we'll click on create member plans and then we'll select what type of plan we wanna create. Uh, again, in order to be simple, I'm just gonna do free, um, but we have lots of different paid options, but to do these, I would need to connect to Stripe. It's a one-click authentication, but again, I'll, I'll keep this example really simple and we'll just do free for now. All right, so the name, I'll call it the uh, community plan. Then I'll kind of skip over this optional step um, and get down to here. So which member pages can be accessed? So there's that dashboard page that we were just looking at, right? So I added it as a member page and now it's in my list. So any pages you add um, as a member only will be shown here so you can check off which plans give access to which pages. Pretty straightforward. Um, and then after sign up and after login, this is controlling the user experience. So this is where you decide where people go after they sign up for this specific plan. So again, back on our Webflow site, I'll just copy this full URL, right? Because after someone joins this plan, I wanna bring them to this member dashboard area and then let them do whatever they wanna do from there. So I'll, I'll put that in here and same for after login. Okay, um, I'll go ahead and create the plan. Okay, so there it is, community plan, right? And if we go back to member pages for a second, we see it says community plan now underneath the page, right? So what that indicates is that this member plan gives access to this member page. All right, so um, in member plans here, the way people join this plan, there's a few ways. Uh, one, you can add the sign up link right on the site, your, your Webflow site, um, or like in an email. Another way is you can manually invite people to the plan if you want to do it that way. Um, and third, we could actually, member space can actually run an import for you. So we can do an import in mass of up to you know thousands of members if you wanted to and automatically, yeah, basically all you do um, is you go into your settings in Webflow, go to custom code and paste in the install code um, and just click save and you're done. The other cool thing that I did, if we go to customize here um, and then go to integrations, and then go to Webflow. Um, we added a login account pop-up link. So this little link I added um, into my Webflow site for the sign-in and for the dashboard area. So like when I click this now, it actually pops up a sign-in just like that. It was just literally just adding a link right there. Um, and then also if we go down to where the, um, the payments were for the pricing here, remember we made this join today, we made that a, uh, we made that a, a link to sign up for the community plan. When you click it, it asks you to create your account. Um, and I'll do that in a second. Um, and the other, the other cool part to show was the dashboard. Because if, if we remember in the member space backend, if we go to member pages again, uh, the dashboard member space, remember we protected that page. So when I try to go there as someone who's not a member, I get redirected away. I'm showing it for a second, but then I'm redirected away. So that's, that's what member space is actually doing. It's protecting that page for you. So um, what the, the next big step that I, I guess everybody didn't see was uh, Zapier, uh, setting up a Zapier uh, Zap so that member space can connect with Circle. So I'll just kind of walk through what I created. Um, so first thing is we are going to uh, select member space and then we're going to click a trigger event. So we'll do new membership. So when someone joins one of the plans, this can trigger. Um, you also have cancel membership. So this is important because with Circle, you can remove people um, from, from, you know, from the community. So uh, I'll, I'll just do new though for now. Um, so new membership. And then for the account, I connected it to my member space account. And then for customize, um, I'm, you get to choose which plan this trigger is gonna is gonna care about. I'm gonna do the community plan because that's what we created previously in our in our example. Um, but you could do all plans. So so if anybody joins any plan, this will trigger. All right. Um, and then I skipped the uh, the testing, so we didn't need to do that. Then I'll show you what we do in Circle. So we select Circle, and then the action 
uh, we're doing invite member. Uh, Circle's actually got a really good Zapier integration. It's pretty robust. They have a lot of different options here. Um, and an important one that I mentioned before was remove member. So you could you could create another uh, Zap so that when someone cancels their membership, it'll remove them as a member uh, from the Circle community, which will be nice. So we'll do invite member because that, that's what this is all about. Okay, and then we'll choose the account. I have a Circle account that I've already connected previously. Okay, and then uh, customizing it. So here we enter in the email. So you can pull in the email address from member space. Um, the name, you can pull in the first name and the last name from member space. We'll, we'll skip the password part because we'll, we'll let the user set that themselves. Um, or you could preset the password if you wanted to. And then community, I have a, a circle community I connected to this called MakerPad Workshop. So I'll just keep that there. And then you get to choose which spaces you want to invite people to within your community. So uh, maybe you just want to invite people to fun or latest wins or whatever. You can do that. Um, I chose to invite them to all the different spaces. A space is kind of like a like a Slack, uh, I guess like a Slack channel, you could think of it. Um, but yeah, you can kind of get nuanced with this. Um, and you, you, there's more options here. I'm not going to go every single thing, but uh, one important one here is skip invitation email, false. So we want this to be false because we do want the invitation email to be sent. Um, so we'll leave it as false. And because of the way we've set up this particular circle community is it's a private one. So people can't just sign up and join it. The only way they can join is if they're invited, which is what we're doing right now. Okay, and then uh, basically I was done after that. Um, so now it's, it's all set. So now the way to test it is sign up as an actual member, right? So we'll go, um, we're on our on our Webflow site here uh, and we're gonna sign up as if we were a member or as, as if we wanted to become a member. So we'll click this sign up link here. Okay, click continue. Okay, so I just joined the plan. It's a free plan, so there was nothing to do after I created the account. You're just on the plan, right? If this was a paid member plan, you would be shown a credit card form, but obviously I was trying to keep this simple. So I was also sent to the after signup URL. If you guys remember that when we were creating uh, the member plan, we said, go to this URL after signup, and that's what happened. And you also noticed that we can, we can see the dashboard page, right? Before we couldn't see it. Now we can, because we're a member. Um, and also that that login um, slash account link, when we click it, it actually works. Now we can see our account. And if we go back to the home page for a second, um, the that the sign in link automatically turned into a your account link because I'm logged in as a member now. All right, so uh, that's how that all works. And now if we go to my email real quick, uh, now we, we see I got two emails. One was the member space welcome email. Um, which you can customize in member space. And the other was the invite from Circle. So here it is, right? Hey, Ben, Ward is invited to join the MakerPad Workshop community. Okay, so if I accept the invitation, so now I'm actually uh, joining as a member of this community that I created. And this is all triggered because of the member space Zapier Circle connection. So I'll just add a uh, password here, accept the invite. And now here I am, I'm creating my profile for the community. And I uh, just happen to have a photo of Ben on my desktop. So just gonna use that. Um, and yeah, that's that. you can fill in all these different fields. Uh, Circle's got a lot of cool stuff here for you, to, for you to fill in, depending on how public you wanna make various information about yourself. So pretty robust. And then we'll click continue. All right, so there it is. Now we're in the community. So this is what Circle looks like. This is a, an example of what Circle could look like, to be to be fair. I set this up and designed it to look like this. You, you have your own options for how you want this all to look. But here are the various spaces that I was talking about before. So you can have different you know sections that you want people to, to talk about different things in. Um, you can change colors, logo, all that good stuff. You can add external links if you want. Um, if you look right here, here's my profile. So again, I, the only reason I was able to get here was because I became a member via member space on the Webflow site, and then Zapier sent that email out. So that that's kind of the gist of it. That that's kind of like the full closed loop here. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll chat to you soon. Yeah, and once uh, once we do have the single sign-on available, everybody, we'll we'll let Ben know. I'm sure he'll post about it. So keep an eye out for that as well. So it'll be even more you know seamless. Yeah. Awesome. Cheers, Bob. All right. Bye, everybody.